Hello folks. Well, you know, every year Mr. Tucci asks me to come and teach his 8th grade science class on how helicopters work at the Sibley Ochiden Middle School. We always like doing this, and it's a place to fly inside, especially today as it was minus 15 degrees when I get up at 5.30 a.m. Well, it's worth it because we feel that even if one person gets inspired by what we do, it could be beneficial to us all in the future. Well, my friend Jeff always assists and takes the great pictures, and I must admit that it's supposed to be about the helicopters, but it seems that it always turns into an all kinds of flying gadget show. <laughs> I love showing off the gadgets, and I love gadgets, and so did the kids. So when I asked a question to the students at the end of each class of which machines they like the best, I'm going to tell you, but not until the end of the video. So sit back and enjoy the fun. Here we go. Anybody fly RC already? Good. Good for you guys. Quads, helicopters, airplanes? Well, I'm going to explain, first of all, before we start flying some of these things, how a helicopter works. This is basically what uh, Mr. Tucci asked me to do, show how a helicopter works. This just goes to prove that you can put a big enough motor on anything to fly. Put a motor on a garage motor.
time to come lucky. It's quite upside down. members of the AMA, that's the Academy of Model Aeronautics, we are all members of that. We know the altitude for an airplane or a quadcopter is 400 feet, and you can't fly five miles from an airport without the
Speaking. Yes, you guys. You better behave. You hear me? I'll be back later. 